Hello, everybody. My name is Boopasaurus, and welcome to week three of the Overwatch Carbon Series Recap Show. We had a lot of exciting action this week, so let's get right to the games. Our first game is LG Loyal versus Team Liquid. Both teams start week three at the bottom of the standings. Team Liquid hoping the return of Rafa and more playtime with Shatter will help get them back in this tournament. LG Loyal takes an early tiebreaker win on King's Row, but Team Liquid fights back with an impressive defense on Temple of Anubis. Liquid keeps the momentum going, taking the paw despite LG Loyal's Icefelt getting a quintuple kill with his tack visor. On Dorado, AZK helps Liquid's push with a Widow triple pick, but it wasn't enough as LG Loyal's defense stops Liquid before the first checkpoint and inevitably forced a game five. Dragon Blade versus everyone! Will it work? It will not. Hollywood plays host to the final showdown with Team Liquid's defense stopping LG Loyal just shy of the second checkpoint. Thanks to a double kill from AZK's Pulse Bomb, Team Liquid clear out LG Loyal, winning the series 3-2. Game 2 is a hotly anticipated matchup between current tournament leaders LG Evil, formerly known as Hammers, and early tournament favorites Immortals. Immortals struggle out of the gate on Eichenwald, only pushing the payload halfway. LG Evil capitalizes, taking point A on their first try and making short work of Immortals' defense for a quick win. Immortals fights back on Temple of Anubis, eventually capping both points. But Jakes McCree warms up with the Tracer headshot on point A. And he does end up taking down Hype with a flashbang headshot combo and a quality hello there. Before going full on Electric Cowboy to take point B in lightning fast time. No pun intended. Immortals fight valiantly on Oasis, but LG Evil's combo of Jake's Farah and Train's Diva proves too effective as they defeat Immortals 3-0. Look at this D.Va save onto Jake. Day two starts with Complexity against LG Evil. Complexity is looking to give LG Evil their first tournament loss. But unfortunately, bringing King's Row to a draw is the closest Complexity will get to a win. LG Evil get all aboard the Jake train as Jake's talent with multiple heroes proves too strong for Complexity. Both teams go back and forth on Temple of Anubis complete with extra long fights on point B. Jake's McCree helps LG Evil take the win in the tiebreaker, but he really shines on Nepal, dead-eyeing three, winning a 1v1 with an ulted Genji, then casually flashbanging a Tracer for dessert. All complete with Jake's signature signature hellos. LG Evil's momentum continued on Watchpoint Gibraltar, taking the match over Complexity 3-0. Well, anytime you have Electric Cowboy plus High Noon, it is going to be all sorts of deadly. Game four of the week brings Team Liquid against the Detroit Renegades. It's a rough start for Team Liquid on King's Row, getting shut down before the final checkpoint by Jesus's Tracer and a Manga Chew's Farah. Temple of Anubis would end in a draw, but did play host to an incredible Genji deflect by Shatter and the first Torbjorn hammer kill from Manga Chew. Oh, AZK gets <laughs> hammered. Team Liquid failed to capture a point on Oasis is continually getting cut down by Jesus and Mangachu. Despite Team Liquid's initial Dorado defense evaporating before Renegades, they managed to muster a solid final point defense, allowing their offense to shine. Shatter steps up with his Genji, slicing through Renegades to help put Team Liquid on the scoreboard. On the verge of taking Dorado, Hex, this would be huge for them. A nice reflect kill towards the very end. Even though Liquid performed a four-way surgical beatdown on Mangachu in a play, I'm going to slow down to highlight how he is shot, electrocuted blown up, and then finally sliced in half. In the end, it was Saipei's Genji on Eichenwall that puts Renegades on top with a 3-1 victory. Yo, but the Pulse Bomb! Yes. AZK gets the Pulse Bomb, but the Resurrection going to undo his dirty work. Our fifth and last match of the week features Complexity versus LG Loyal. This game is a back and forth affair from beginning to end. Starting on King's Row, one of LG's new players, Hardis, shows off his McCree skills, helping LG get to three points. For the dive, takes down Nash, perfect timing, off the dash. Complexity is able to get three of their own, getting another shot at the win. They take advantage and win the map. Anubis lasts as long as this sentence with LG winning on their first push. LG loyal now on the verge of a very quick win and they get it, Hex! Complexity and LG trade the next two maps with Complexity winning Nepal and LG winning Dorado. This Tracer oh, eats yeah, the sleep dart. 
This comes down to a game five. Complexity shows some awesome team play by discombobulating LG. LG is very unfocused and can't get a good engage, getting held before second. Complexity starts by rolling through, but almost throws. But guys, the point! Complexity takes advantage of LG's lack of focus and loses the map because of it. Complexity wins the match 3-2. What? what? Why are you what? kidding me? Now let's take a look at the standings after week three. We have LG Evil as our only undefeated team at 6-0, Renegades at 4-1, Complexity at 3-3, Immortals at 2-3, LG Loyal and Team Liquid both at 1-5. In case you're wondering, Renegades and Immortals do have one less game due to some unfortunate weather circumstances in the Detroit area, which makes it so we have to postpone their match into week four. Everyone is looking forward to the Renegades versus LG Evil matchup on Monday. This could decide who is number one atop our standings. Will Renegades be able to take the first win off of LG Evil? I know we are all waiting to see. Thank you for watching the Overwatch Carbon Series recap show for week three. Please check me out on Twitter at Bupasaurus Rex and check out Carbon Entertainment's pages on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. And now I leave you with the boop of the week.